Libra, it's me, Sagittarius Soltero. I'm going to go ahead and do your guys' February 2021 love reading. Okay, it's going to be for the past, present, and the future in regards to love. Um, the past is going to be like the end of last month or um, whenever before February. Present is like um, now or this week or whenever time's fluid, as well as the future. It could be the end of this month as well as like going into next month. So it's going to be for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, cross watcher, or anybody interested in Libra. Uh, make sure that um, you watch this video for whoever you're dealing with or you're thinking about, okay? Um, it may not resonate with everybody, so make sure that you just take what does. Don't stress yourself out. I'm going to give honest opinions, but I'm going to be very, you know, I'm going to make sure it's for my own good. I'm not going to do anything that's going to hurt anybody in intentionally. All right, I'm just here to help you guys, give you guys the best knowledge, the most help and guidance that I possibly can. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start this video. Um, but make sure you guys like and subscribe. Everybody's been so nice with the comments down below, the likes, the um, shares. So I really want to hit um, 1,000 subscribers soon. I'm already at over 300, which is crazy because I started this uh, channel like two months ago and I only had like 10 subscribers. So thank you to everybody that's giving me love and everything. Also, um, PSA, my son's in the background. So if you hear uh, screaming and stuff like that, that's what that noise is. I'm sorry. Okay, so. But anyways. Hi, Molly. Hi, say hi to the camera. And he's a Libra hi. too, so that's going to be fun. My son's a Libra. I'm a Sagittarius. It's cr okay. I'm gonna before I start your video. This is so weird how like he's a Libra, but like and then I'm a Sagittarius. But we have the same moon and rising sign, which is crazy. Like our moon signs are Aquarius and um, Taurus rising. So it's really crazy how we have different sun signs with the same rising and moon. So I think that's kind of why we clash sometimes. We kind of get on each other's nerves because we're so much alike. So okay, I love you, buddy. Be careful. Here, don't knock my cards over. All right, so in the past, what we have for Libra is it's time to take action, new moon and Aries. Okay, so you need to take action here with something in the past, or you did take path. Yeah, I don't know why I'm speaking like. Okay, so yeah, in the past, you took action. Okay. And you could have been dealing with an Aries or just in general feeling very like you had things to do. Okay, very just um like a go-getter. Okay, I have emotional withdrawal. So this is kind of like um, like the Eight of Cups is why I see you're kind of the Eight of Cups. Like you're kind of detaching from something here. Taking action maybe to detach when it comes to your love life in the past here. Maybe walking away from something that didn't serve you. Okay, I'm going to do three shuffles for my Libras. Libras are definitely like one of my favorite signs, just a PSA. Okay, I feel like my, I think my all-time favorite Besides Sagittarius, they're one of my favorites. But I feel like, I don't know, I'd probably say Aries is one of my favorites. But Libra is definitely one of my top favorite signs. I always love Libras. They always are so nice to me. Okay. I know that doesn't really matter, but they're always just so calm. Okay. So the past here, you have got Eight of Cups again. So you got Eight of Cups here and Eight of Cups. Okay. So definitely you're walking away detaching Queen of Wands. And you got Ace of Swords reverse. Okay, could be you're hiding the truth about something here. Sorry about the noise, but so I feel like you're hiding the truth about a situation or the truth's being hidden from you. But I feel like you're taking action. You want okay. Um, I feel like you know that you have other people, other options. Like you're very attractive. Maybe you don't deserve like what you're going through. So you're deciding to detach, okay, emotionally, and you're walking away. Okay. Here, I gotta use my arm. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead. i got to shuffle these real quick, and then I'm going to clarify. So, Eight of Cups, Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords, Reverse. I feel like maybe the truth's being hidden from you. Ace, okay. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Um, You have Three of Cups. Okay, you could have had maybe a reconciliation with people, or you're just really around, like, social groups right now. You could be... Just wanting to walk away. Maybe this person like controlled you and now you finally want the freedom to do what you want. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. As well as Ace of Cups reversed. You're putting like an end to this. You're not putting emotions into the situation. Detaching here. As well as Ace of Pentacles reversed. Okay. I feel like you don't want like any new start. That's what I'm seeing. Alright, don't be doing that, buddy. Okay, you got the Queen of Wands. 
Ooh, my stomach's growling. Queen of Wands. You got the Wheel of Fortune. So you want new changes in your... Hey, don't, don't, don't. Bubby, come on. Just please. Okay, so you want new changes with the Queen of Wands. You want hey, new things. Up my cup. One second. I gotta find a spoon. No, Hold on. Just... Sorry, guys. I told you it was gonna be a distraction. Alright, here, baby. Just here. I told you to be good. I have videos to do today. All right, my day off. I have things to do, buddy. All right, so Wheel of Fortune. All right, so I feel like you have other options. You want things to take favor. You want changes in your life because you feel passionate. You feel like you have this passion, this drive for new changes. Okay, and I feel like you're not settling for anything that doesn't serve you. All right, the world in reverse. You still have some cycles to close out, though. Okay, or you have some things you still have to fix in order to have this change. Okay, and the Queen of Swords. You could. Have some communication that you still have to do is what I'm seeing. You have communication that you have to do. Um, you could either, with Ace of Swords, you couldn't be speaking that. Or this person isn't speaking truth to you. But somebody has to have communication here and, like, in something. Okay, Ace of Swords reversed. Okay, the Page of Pentacles. Alright, I feel like um, this person's maybe not really being honest with like what they're wanting here okay this person that you were dealing with maybe they still want to offer you something but they're kind of lying being like not truthful with like, what they're wanting to offer you with the judgment in reverse i feel like you this person's still coming around maybe wanting um to fix something here that's why the world's in reverse they still the cycle hasn't ended with this person but you're just not interested is what i see okay baby all right I feel like you're not really interested because you got the judgment in the reverse. So it's like you've kind of given up or you feel like this is a lost cause with this person. As well as the Knight of Swords reverse. I feel like you're just not wanting this communication with this person. Okay? You're just wanting to kind of take charge of your own self. You're wanting to walk away. I feel like what I'm getting, like, and I feel like I'll name the video this, is like, sorry doesn't, doesn't, what's that? Sorry doesn't cut it. Okay, that's it. Yeah. So let's get some, um messages here like what was going on in the past it's big Haley. yeah it is yeah, big Haley so much. okay so we have stay optimistic about your love life okay in the past like maybe you were trying to stay optimistic but you still just i feel like you just weren't really satisfied you felt like you wanted other you wanted changes in your life for the wheel of fortune you wanted different things to take place different directions maybe other Maybe you just weren't really as interested anymore if this person, okay? Let's see what messages you um have here. So we have in the past, I know I can satisfy you as well as family is my priority. So maybe this person, that was some of the problem was that they weren't really giving you a whole lot here because of family situations or like maybe you're wanting to be like, Maybe this person had children is what I'm seeing. And, like, you just weren't really, like, interested. You had other things you wanted to do. And maybe this person took a lot of responsibility of you, like, helping. I'm just, this is for some people. I just, I don't know why I got this idea in my head. I feel like maybe you were, like, you didn't have any children. You were dating this person that had children. And then they constantly, like, made you feel like you had to kind of be stepmommy, stepdaddy to this person with their children. And it was just kind of overwhelming and, like, kind of stressed you out because maybe you didn't really hey come on you didn't really know what was involved when you took on this responsibility you maybe wanted to like have other options you wanted to go out and have fun with your friends but you felt like you had to be stuck at home with this person and their ch baby come on this person and their children okay is what i'm seeing for some reason so i feel like you're maybe wanting to this it's getting on my nerves um like you're trying to stay optimistic but you don't really know anymore is what i'm seeing i don't know why i got super like into this reading for some reason but i'm feeling this for you guys i'm feeling like a situation rules could be reversed but you're kind of wanting to walk away because you're just not really happy in this connection anymore okay so i'm gonna go ahead now and do the present moment because i've really rambled on there okay the present moment for libra and love I don't know why I got, like, really... Sometimes when I do that, like, I'll get, like, a thought into a reading, and then I'll just keep going on and on and on, and I just can't stop talking. So, work through your fears. New Moon and Scorpio is in the current moment. Could be dealing with the Scorpio, or you could just be kind of fearing something here, or scared about a situation. Okay, the cards that we got for you is number two, spiritual union. Prosperity begins. This is, like, the Ace of Pentacles. 
okay? So some kind of new um, situations evolving here, but maybe you're kind of scared about where it's going to lead to, if it's going to be stable enough, if it's going to be where you're happy enough, okay? But I feel like you have a new beginning, new stability here, but somehow you're still kind of scared about, so maybe the change of it is what's scaring you. Okay, we have the Four of Swords reversed, okay? I feel like you're thinking about this a lot. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're stressing about this new situation because you see, like, it could have growth, okay? It could go somewhere, but you're kind of afraid because you're hoping that this person, it's going to be with the right person. You're going to make the right choice is what I'm seeing, okay? You do, I feel like, have a lot of feelings for this person, because the spiritual union number two is like the two of cups. So you have the soulmate energy, this new beginning, the stability. But you want to make sure that you're investing the right time into the right person. Okay. Four of swords reverse. Why is that here for Libra? Okay, we got the tower. Two of pentacles. And then as well as the eight of swords and this um, five of swords. You feel like somebody's keeping something from you. So it's kind of stressing. Or you feel like you don't really know if you can trust this person. Okay, maybe this is like an up and changing situation where it kind of drastically, um, maybe this, um, you're kind of like up in your head about this. You don't really know the decision you want to make. You're kind of juggling your options with the two of pentacles. You're kind of all in your head about this is what I'm seeing. A lot of just like mental back and forth energy. Okay, the tower, you could be like kind of maybe changes are happening with this relationship, like quick changes, like the ace of pentacles. Okay, this could be somebody new is what I'm seeing though. But this could be something taking place very quick, and you're kind of in your head about it because you don't really know if this person's a liar, if they're being honest with you, if you can trust this person. Okay, you want to make sure you're taking your time into this and growing this. Okay, because I got the Ace of Cups, so it's like a new beginning, a new love offer. But maybe you just don't really know this person well enough. You want to make sure that you're investing your time into the right person. Alright, Seven of Pentacles, what's going on here? And that could be like why you're fearing this, Okay temperance okay i feel like you're trying to remain cool okay you're trying to seem like you're balanced like you get a clear perspective of this here could be dealing with sagittarius got the five of pentacles as well as the magician so it's like you're kind of at this energy where you're not really you're kind of like scared that this person maybe like is going to walk away for some reason like you're manifesting this person to stay in your life because you're Maybe you have, a, I feel like you have a fear of abandonment is also some of it too. You could have abandonment issues like from your past is what I'm seeing. Like you are afraid like if you give to this person your time and energy, what if they abandon you and they walk away from you? Or they just aren't really as into you anymore. Okay, you could feel that way. Because I got the five of swords, five of pentacles. I feel like you don't really know if you can trust this person and like whether or not they're going to stay is what I'm seeing. Okay. Ace of cups though. So there is some kind of new um, love here with this person. Four of Pentacles reversed. Okay, the Nine of Wands reversed. And the Page of Wands. There is a lot of passion here. A passion being started here. But I feel like you're still kind of scared with the Four of Pentacles reversed. You're scared this person's like going to let go of you. And they're going to not like hold on to this connection. Is what I'm seeing. I feel like you're trying to open up to this person. And you're scared like once you open up to this person. What if they just walk away or they let you go. Or let go of the connection. That's why you're not really giving much. Like, you are starting to give some of your, like, passion to this, but you're not really putting a whole lot invested because you're scared, like, what if, like, once you put more into this, what if they just decide they don't want this and they walk away and let it go, okay? I don't know why I'm getting, like, fear of abandonment for some reason. Like, I'm getting, like, you guys might be, like, fearing abandonment. You're scared this person's going to walk away. Maybe that's what happened in your past relationships that seemed this, like... When you felt this way about somebody, it, it's turned into that situation where you felt like you were left and just like this person just walked away when you were like extremely invested into them. Alright, so let's see some romance cards here. Libra, I don't know why I feel super connected to your guys' reading. I don't know. Like I, so far the ones that I've done today, like I haven't really got this into. So, and I feel like I do this a lot with your guys' readings. I'm always super invested. Healing family issues, okay? That could be a factor here. Let's see. As well as trust. I feel like there's a lack of trust in this. Like somebody is like scared, okay? I feel like someone's scared because there's maybe family issues. That could be a factor as well. I don't really know if the family issues is a problem. But I feel like the trust is definitely the issue. Like somebody's lacking trust and I feel like it's you. I feel like you don't know if you can trust this person. You just have a fear of abandonment. 
Let's get a lover's oracle for the current moment for Libra. So I got one here. I got life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life, create unnecessary stress, go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So yeah, I feel like you're just kind of maybe stressing yourself out for no reason and you need to be more calm, be more collected. I don't know why I'm getting a lot of fear here because I'm getting work through your fears. I'm getting a lot of stress here from your reading, like the eight of swords. I'm getting just a lot of like, ugh, like a lot of tension. All right, so what does this person currently want to say to you that you're dealing with? I want you to tell me your fears. I'm not afraid of who you are. Why do I keep getting fear in this reading? Oh my gosh. I feel like it, you guys are like stressing out like constantly here about this. Like you're worrying like constantly in the current moment. You're stressing about this connection. About this person letting you go. I want to be yours forever, okay? So, all right. So let me go ahead and get a Zodiac card who you're dealing with. I don't know why I'm thinking it's another air sign like you. I'm thinking it's like an, a Gemini or an Aquarius or something. Because you're very, a lot of, either it's not that, it's fire. Either fire or swords, because that's basically what I got in this reading. So, a lot of mental energy. So, who is Libra currently dealing with? Air. It's like, I told you. I freaking knew it. Like, I knew you guys were dealing with an air sign. It's like a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay? As well as that could be their moon sign. Okay, it could be a Scorpio too. Because I got the tower and a Pisces. But I don't really see much water here. I see mostly like air and fire. Okay, mostly air. Like 90% of it. Okay, so they could have that in their moon sign. Though. They could have Pisces or a Scorpio in their moon. Okay, or like they could be an air sign with that in their moon. Alright, so. Oh my gosh, guys. This is intense. I've never felt so intense in a reading. Like at least today I haven't. Alright, so let's go ahead. So. Whew, I feel like I need a breather. Okay, let's go ahead and do your guys' future outcome, okay? I don't know why I'm getting, like, this is, like, making me sweat, this video. <laughs> like, I don't usually get this into a video, but I'm, like, starting to sweat and, like, oh, my gosh. Mm. Ooh. All right. Future for Libra. Shoot. All right, so, bringing love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Oh, another water sign, or air sign. That's awesome. So, bring love to the situation. You could be done with an Aquarius, okay? I don't know why I'm getting strong air in this. Oh my gosh. Every card I get is like air in there. Alright, so bring love to the situation. Alright, let's go ahead and get another card for the future outcome for Libra. I feel like I'm very like on it with this reading. So, if you guys think this doesn't resonate or this isn't accurate, I, I don't know. Because I'm feeling this. Usually it's like, sometimes they're kind of iffy with the readings, but this one, I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel this in my soul, like, alright, nothing wanted to come out either. <laughs> so I got number 18, shadow, okay? So it's like, maybe you guys are mirroring each other right now, alright? Let me go ahead. I feel like you guys are mirroring each other when it comes to this love in the future. You guys are going to be mirroring each other a lot. Or you guys could be twin flames as well. Yeah. Can you get a them? Yeah. Okay, you guys could be mirroring each other a lot. Or, um, you guys could just be twin flames, something about here. Alright, so in the future, we got the Ace of Swords reverse, the Hermit reverse, full reverse. Alright, so, I see here this, like, lack of truth, lack of communication here. Um, somebody's kind of isolating their self, they're not really speaking, as well as taking this chance, somebody's kind of not wanting this anymore, or someone's not wanting to, like, work on something. Ace of Swords reversed. Ooh, we got the Fool, we got Death reversed, so it's like new beginnings of something not ending, though, with the Eight of Cups reversed. I feel like someone's not wanting to walk away from this, they're not wanting to end this connection, they want new beginnings, but somebody's afraid of speaking up and telling how it is, telling the truth here. Okay. Alright. The Hermit in reverse. Okay. Queen of Wands reverse. Somebody feels kind of like defeated or like they've kind of given up in this connection. They feel like they've lost out somehow. Okay. The Temperance in reverse. Could be done with the Sagittarius. Five of Pentacles reverse. This person wants to come back around. If they've kind of walked away or think about walking away, I feel they don't want to. They just want more balance and they feel kind of unstable with their feelings right now. I feel like this person, definitely their feelings are kind of all over the place. They don't really know how they feel. They haven't really got full, okay, they haven't really got full um, clarity is what I'm seeing. 
Somebody likes their energies like all over the place. Can you go through the left, left side, right? Yeah, hold on, baby. Okay, the full in reverse. You got the page of wands. So somebody does want some kind of passion to start here. Yeah, they want to bring passion into this, but somebody's still kind of afraid like they're going to make the same mistake. Okay, or the same mistakes are going to keep evolving into this. But they're wanting to like, you know, I feel like this person's wanting to wa uh, work on this. They don't want this to end if it's the same person you're dealing with. Okay, I am getting a lot of like um, fire energy this time. So it could be the same person, okay? But I feel like you guys are mirroring each other a lot. Let me get two more cards here. Okay, the Seven of Swords reverse. You guys are going to be more truthful. You guys aren't. You guys are going to be more, like your intentions are going to be pure is what I see, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? I really feel like there's, like you guys definitely are mirroring each other with your feelings, okay? Very back and forth, back and forth. Um, somebody feels like at a loss. They feel kind of defeated. They don't know if they should speak the truth is what I'm seeing. Okay, baby. Um, but I feel like people, yeah, I feel like you guys have equally the true intentions in this connection. But there's just a lot of, like, insecurity, a lot of fear. Okay, a lot of feelings and balance. They don't really know what's the right thing to do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get a romantic angel here, or a couple here. I feel like things want to ignite, calling in your soulmates. I feel like this wants to take charge, but people are still kind of just scared in some way. Free yourself and honeymoon. Okay, you could feel at a point like somebody's kind of free in their self. Somebody's not sure what they're wanting. Okay. So they do get a lot of like energy where somebody just doesn't really know how they feel about this. They don't feel like it's stable. You guys are just mirroring each other a lot is what I'm seeing. Maybe there's not much love being shown into the situation. There's a lot of mental thinking, a lot of stress. Okay. But I feel like this isn't ending though. Like a lot of unending, like a never ending process is what I'm seeing here. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and do a lover's oracle for a couple here. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, can you pick that up for me, baby? What? It fell on the floor. I don't think bending over. What Thank the you. Hell is this thing? No, don't say that, baby. Stop cussing. All right, close your eyes and tell yourself you deserve to feel joyful. Allow joy into your life regardless of circumstances you currently find yourself in. So it's like you need to just like breathe is what I'm saying. You need to just not be stressed. Um, you need to realize like things that are happening are happening, you know, whatever happens is happening for a reason to fix things. Okay. Or you're going through this for a reason. Let's see what messages you need to know in the future. Okay. So what I see is, yeah. Um, okay. This is kind of, so I prefer to be single right now. I feel lost without you. I know you're my soulmate. So this is definitely like a strong connection. But somebody needs to free themselves. Somebody, they feel like they're going to be lost without you. Or it's going to be like they're going to have a loss. Okay, maybe part of them's going to die. You know, with the death here. They feel like they're going to lose a piece of them. But right now, they're just very, like, maybe not in the mindset of this relationship. Or they're not in the mindset to have this connection. Okay. Let's see what signs you could be dealing with. I have Gemini. So definitely more air here. Have the sun sign could be Gemini, could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, as well as a Libra. Some more air here, as well as Capricorn, Cancer on the back, and then Sagittarius on the other side. So they could have their sun sign, Libra, Gemini. So definitely a lot of air or Earth here. But they get some pinnacles. So, all right, guys. So take what resonates. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I'm sorry that the readings seem kind of negative. I don't usually have those kind of messages come out. But I feel like if you guys are dealing with a lot, hopefully that this video helps you in some way with, like, your love life and stuff like that. So make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a nice day.